it's day seven. Congratulations again. Oh my goodness. I hope in the last six days, you have definitely learned some structure and strategy to your videos. I know you have, and I know many of you have watched these videos, and I pray that each one of you have put them into action, put them into thought and then action, so you can master live video. Um, yeah, so these are all things that I shared with you that honestly, I've had to learn from experience. There wasn't many Facebook Live gurus out there. I don't call myself a guru. I call myself somebody who has experienced it, who has failed miserably and failed so much that I've succeeded in doing them. And I am excited for you to have a little bit of an easier pathway <laughs> of resistance than I did. So congratulations, day six completed. You now have how to promote, how to get people to show up, right? You also have a good understanding of how to bring people into your conversation from the moment you get started, right? You know how to talk with individuals versus at them. It's gonna get easier, I promise. It gets more comfortable, I promise. You also have learned how to transition from starting to meat and potatoes to all the tips you have to share to the closing and oh my goodness those call to actions which are what lead people to the next step be confident and comfortable that every single person needs guidance on what to do next because we do we do we don't know what to do next we don't know whether to message you. We don't know whether to go to your website. We don't know whether to ask a question unless we're pushed, pushed a little bit, given guidance. Those are your call to actions. And then we finished yesterday with your follow-ups, right? How to follow up with people, um, what that really looks like, what that sounds like, what that strategy is all about. So today, day seven, are you guys excited? So let me know what all has been a aha moment for you. Let me know in the comments because it's not only helpful for me to see what is working well for you, but also it shows me what might we do a little bit more training on because people aren't really grasping that, right? So also share with me below what struggles you're still having, maybe some questions you still have about different aspects of the strategy and structure of live videos. We can definitely go into more depth. This isn't the end, guys. This is the beginning of you becoming a expert. I don't even call myself an expert. So we're on this journey together. <laughs> um, all right, so day seven is the plan. Now we have our we're comfortable going live, more comfortable, right? We are excited about how to start, how to do, we got that strategy down. We know what we need to do. It's just doing it and getting better at it each and every single time. Practice makes perfect. Let's rephrase that. Practice makes progress. <laughs> um, all right, so the plan. Now, is every day going live beneficial? Maybe for you, but I don't feel that it's necessary. So we go live every single day just to get that comfort level there, to get that confidence there, to get the learning, the failing forward to happen much faster than once a week. I want you guys to fail forward so fast that you become so rock solid so fast that when you go to a plan, a plan, a schedule, you rock it out. You're amazing. People show up. People watch the whole video. People talk to you. Because you have it all figured out and you're failing forward. Always looking for progress, not perfection, right? Okay, so the plan. Maybe your plan looks different than mine, and I hope it does. But what is your plan? 
what does your week look like? How many times do you want to show up live and impact on purpose? Does that, is that defined as every single Monday, I'm in the zone, I'm going to deliver, that's the best day of my week? Then I challenge you to make sure that your live videos are scheduled for Mondays. Hence why mine are scheduled on Mondays at 1 p.m. Eastern. Because I am in the zone. I never miss a Monday. I never miss that first day of the week to come out of the gate like a lion. I would feel for you all if I had scheduled my weekly, every week show up video for Friday. I'm a family that likes to go places. Ooh, I would fail. So knowing my schedule, and that's why I challenge you guys to know your schedule. When can you show up consistently for your followers? I challenge you to do more than once a week. It is more impactful. Show up once a week where you're going to deliver the meat and potatoes. You're putting value out there. You're doing how to's you're sharing things. You're helping them grow and they're going to show up, but also have a fun one in there. Most people, their plan of action is two to three live videos a week. And I think that is solid. There's other experts out there that say you, do, you need to show up every day. I don't personally feel that way because you're going to show up every day with content. doesn't mean you have to go live every day unless you want to. If that's something you want to do, gosh, rock it out and I'm going to show up for you. So what does your schedule look like? And here's an example. Monday, it's you. You're delivering you. Action. Value people are going to love it. Then maybe it's Thursday. And Thursday is a great day to bring somebody else on the camera with you, interview style. Maybe your target market is moms. Wouldn't it be pretty cool to on Thursdays have different moms that you're interviewing? How does this mom prepare for um, school lunches every day? How does this working mom get it done? How does the stay at home mom get this done? It doesn't have to always be about your product, service, or opportunity. Interview people that can bring value to your target market. I said it. Not about your service, product, or opportunity, but delivers value to your target market. Think outside the box. How do you stand out in a crowd of spamming? You bring value to the table. You bring your target market to your Facebook weekly. Do you think when you post about your product, service, or opportunity that one day out of the week, that when they show up on Thursday to hear about lunches, how to make lunches easier and healthier, how to get your kids involved in, in chores or, you know, think about all the topics. Like, seriously, I just, I just got a whole new idea for myself. But no, think about all the topics you could ask somebody to come on and share in that, that topic. They're not experts, but they are because they do it every day. They're they're experts because they're willing to do it and fail forward. They're maybe not even entrepreneurs, okay? All right, I'll, I'm done with the, the rant. But you get my point. How can you stand out in a very noisy world on social media? How can you stand out to your target market? How can you be the person they come to, your Facebook, your Instagram, to get valuable information for wh who they are? They're moms, they're entrepreneurs, they're gardeners, right? Who is your target market and deliver to that target market? Don't worry about if it doesn't fit the needs of these people. They're not your target market. And if you tell me every single person is your target market, gosh, I hope, I pray for your success because that's gonna be a hard job. 
when you hone in on your target market is when things get a lot more fun, more structured, and easier. And people come because you're focused on them. Okay, so your plan today, your challenge today, is to go live, put all day one through day six into place. Put it all into place. Have fun with it. Drop the link of your video below because we're all here to support you. We're all here to have fun and learn with you. But the next challenge is also drop in the comments, drop below. What is your plan gonna be? And your plan can change, so don't get freaked out. When you think about your plan right now, what days are you going live and what time? Is it Mondays at two and Thursdays at seven? Is it Tuesdays at six and Fridays at one? What is your plan? And don't think that that's what you have to stick to because there's days I go live randomly. You show up when you feel compelled to, but you show up consistently because they deserve it. I cannot wait to watch your videos. I cannot wait to see your plan. I am so freaking proud of you that I'm like giddy. Like y'all are seeing me in my, my element because this is what makes me so excited is to watch you win, watch you fail forward, watch you grow into the person you are meant to be. So get out there and impact on purpose. And I'll see you on the next training and challenge that we hold because we're not done. We're just starting. So have a great day. Get out there and crush it. You can do it. I believe in you. Talk to you soon.